All right, today's eating challenge takes place on board a train, believe it or not, which if nothing else should be unique. for a place called Casey Jones Restaurant. To me, Casey Jones was that gazer who wore the hockey mask and used sporting goods as weaponry in uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I get the feeling it's named after the other guy though. But today I'm here to tell you about something exciting in this addition is what we're to doing. our breakfast menu called the Big Boy Breakfast Challenge. And it is just as it sounds. It's big. Mm. 12 of our homemade buttermilk pancakes drenched in syrup and topped with butter if you can eat it in 30 minutes it's yours free plus we'll give you a casey jones's mug and a place on our wall of fame a mug a mug i think that's even more exciting than a t-shirt let's get inside that is this yeah is cool there's another one straight across there's two of them. awesome okay and he'll be with you in a moment okay? thank you thank you can i order the uh the big boy breakfast challenge please of course yeah, these are the rules. So I have this waiver for you to fill out. You have a timer for 30 minutes. Great. And see what you can do with it then. <laughs> I can't read all of this, but I'm, just, I'm one of those guys that just signs long documents like this without really reading them. Good Lord. The, uh, the video said it was uh, 12 pancakes. I just heard one of the geezers say it's 16 pancakes. So I don't know if they made it harder or if it was just a mistake on there. YouTube channel, but um, 16, that does seem like a lot of pancakes. God damn. <laughs> that's a, that's a big, that's a big stack of pancakes. It's a hefty stack. Do you have confidence? You think I can do this? I don't, you'll, you'll be the first one that I've personally seen try. Yeah? So, I think you got it. Yeah. I think, I think you can slap it, yeah. Good luck. <laughs> That was enthusiastic, thank you. Now, am I right in saying that Casey Casey Jones was like a railroad driver? Yes. And he, he saved a bunch of people when he crashed a train? Yes. yes. Yeah? Yes. It's on the back of the menu. All right, okay. Before you start, you might as well get a picture for it. Of course. It. No, of good? course. If I finish it. Oh, I know you're going to. Don't worry. I'm not so sure. This is the size of my torso. 30 minutes starts when I take my first bite, 16 pancakes. Mm -hmm. How much does it cost if you if you lose? $22. But if you win, it's free and you get a mug? Mm -hmm. That's right. Go for it! <laughs> if I make a mess, I apologize. Don't worry about it at all. Right, let's get going. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. And today we're eating aboard a locomotive. Exciting, isn't it? Yeah, not really. Unless you're that Francis Bourgeois guy. The light also makes this video look terrible, but we're gonna have fun with it nonetheless, I promise, because we're eating pancakes, lots of pancakes. 16 to be precise. Oh, I should have got a second plate. <laughs> I'm making a mess. <laughs> yes, ma'am. She's just saying what everyone else is thinking, I reckon. Anyway, today we're at Casey Jones restaurant, which is an eatery inside a static train carriage, or caboose, as they call it out here, which is a fun word. I might use that more often. You get 30 minutes to finish, and if you do, you get the $22 meal for free, and not, not only that, a charming little mug. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need some more of this syrup. Yeah, now don't get me wrong, the pancakes were hot, but perfectly done. Light and fluffy, just the way you want them. The only thing that makes this a bit of a chore is you don't really get any toppings other than a bit of syrup. Thankfully, this lady's air dropping me some more. Oh, thank you so much. That's very nice of you, thank you. Yeah, moments appreciation, please, for these three golden girls bringing me extra syrup in my hour of need, my kind of cheerleading squad. It was surprisingly into it. <laughs> I've got three, <laughs> three syrup containers now. These are so hot. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you could see the steam coming off them, so you can spare us your irrelevant annotations and get on down to scoffing, kid. It's hard to tell how many I've actually done at this point. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Everyone's on my side today. This is a team effort. 
And I'm, I'm gonna need that because I'm banging tons of water here just to cool my mouth down more than anything. And admittedly, I'm probably not being quite as liberal as I should be with the syrup. I think I'm trying to count them up here. <laughs> I'm not sure how many we got left. I wanna say we're about halfway done. Maybe eight or so left to go. The trouble is, they get hotter the further down the stack you go. I mean, that's basic thermodynamics, but you get the idea. I think I'm about halfway. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's about now. I figure out how to eat these things a bit more efficiently. Eight minutes too late, like. I think I've sussed it. That's the easiest way to eat them. Fold it like this, you fold it like that. I've got, I think I've got the technique now. They said I was a professional. This, this demonstrates that I am not a professional by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> Amen. Just because you have a couple of cameras doesn't necessarily mean you know what you're doing. But, um, I mean, I, I got there in the end, right? Kind of. We're almost done. You don't have to eat the orange, thankfully. Yeah, I never really did get why it comes with orange slices. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one! Is that good? Yay! You don't think you could, could... I'm sure you could... Like, if, if you didn't have breakfast, you could probably do this, right? No? No. No? No. <laughs> I probably never even finished more. <laughs> Sandy, Pat and Elaine, nice to meet you thank all. Thank you for sharing your adventure. No, no, thank you for, uh, for being supportive. I feel pretty good. Good, good. I feel a little bit out of breath and, like, super warm. But, um... <laughs> oh, this is the cup. It is. I like that. It's kind of got a, a slightly weathered look to it. Oh, yeah. I like that. I might take this to Nathan's and knock Joe Chestnut out with it. Still way nicer than LNAR trains. <laughs>